today I want to talk to you about a business tool that's called uh, Start, Stop, Continue. Maybe you've done it at your uh, industry that you work with where everyone gathers around and they look at the things that they need to start doing because they just aren't doing it and it should be done. The things they need to stop doing because it's not being helpful and what they can continue. Today I want to talk about Stop, Start, Continue. Stop, Start, Continue. Um, why? Because if you look at our text in Ephesians 4, 25-32, there are five areas that he basically says, stop this, start this, stop this, start this, stop this, start this. The first verse we looked at, verse 25, he said, stop being false. Stop falsehood and start being truthful. The next verse says, stop having unresolved anger. Start resolving it quickly before the sun goes down. Verse 28, he says, anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work with their hands so they have something to share with those who are in need. Stop stop stealing, start working and being generous. So right along the pace, these five things, there's a stop and a start. The continue, I would say, is continue walking in the Spirit. Continue being ready for God to speak to you because He wants to. Because there are certain things that contaminate and tear down community because they erode trust. If you lie to me, uh, pretty soon I can't trust you. Uh, if you're angry with me, I can't, I can't trust you there because you're going to blow up. If you steal from me, I certainly can't trust you. Distrust tightens the chest with anxiety, burns in the throat like smog, tears the eyes with acidity, and poisons the whole person. And whenever any sort of lying, uncontrolled anger, and theft is going on, I guarantee you, it's killing trust. It's killing community. Today, what do you need to stop doing? What do you need to start doing? And in verse 28, he challenges us to live in such a way that we're willing to work hard in order to be generous with those who do not have. Who around you could use your generosity? Proverbs says, a generous man will prosper. He who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. Jesus himself said, it is better, it is more blessed to give than to receive. God wants you and I to be the kind of people that understand when we are sensitive to the Spirit, when we continue to walk in a cadence of His presence, we recognize the things we need to stop and what we need to start and how we can continue to walk in the Spirit. Today, I hope you will. I'll see you tomorrow.